Hey, welcome back. Time and time again, I keep seeing posts and people saying, Elemental, Bloatimental, it's slowing down my website, the page speed score's horrendous, oh my goodness, I blame Elemental. And I want to come and explain to you that I've done this before in many videos, but it is not like that. If you're very careful with your content and your layout, your placement and what you use on the website and optimization tools as well, free ones that do exactly what you need them to do, you can get really high scores. Now, we've just been tinkering with our main Web Squadron website because we've got a five day challenge coming up very, very soon. That's not what this video is about. So we've got uh, our GT metric score, which looks pretty good, right? 100% performance, 99% structure. Sometimes it's 99, sometimes it's 100. Score of A, and everyone goes, yay! But GT metrics, getting an A on that is actually really simple. You can have a really bad website and still hit an A. What's really important is your page speed insight score. Our desktop score for page speed insights is hitting 100%. Look at all these greens, wonderful, wonderful. Don't worry about that 0.001 for the cumulative layer. I know exactly what that is and I'm not fussed by that, but 100% on the desktop. Woo, super, super good. This is all with Elemental Pro, by the way. And here's the mobile score, 98%. Sometimes it goes down to 90, 92. It all depends on my server speed at the time. We are using site ground shared server. Sometimes it hits 100%. Majority of the time, 97, 98%. Okay, again, green, good, good scoring over there. I need to point this way. Why am I going that way? We need to point that way. Okay, look, the scores are really, really good. Now, how am I able to hit good, high mobile and desktop scores using Elemental Pro? Because let me just show you the website, okay? Before anyone says, oh, well, I bet your website hasn't got a lot going on there. I am going to just shrink myself out of the view just for a moment, just so you can see what's happening, okay? There we go. Now, here's the website. And look, you scroll down, you get some movement over there. You know, some nice text effects going on there. Uh, we've got some scrolling effects going on. We got a animated, uh, well, a video actually playing over here. Look, if you, if you stare long enough, you can see the video playing. Okay, we've got some images and text and buttons, a bit more scroll animation. Yeah, it's not crazy. Okay, let me just bring myself back into view. Hello, I'm back. So, you know, don't get me wrong, it's not like there's a huge amount going on the page, but there is enough going on here for me to say this is not just your basic page, okay? There is stuff happening on here. That's what I wanted to get across to you, okay? So, how did we do it? Okay, it's not with any. By the way, I'm not using WP Rocket. I'm not using Nitro Pack. I definitely recommend you don't go near Nitro Pack. Okay, that's just my view. Okay, it's up to you what you want to use. Um, but we've just used a few plugins and careful placement. I've ensured all of the images on here. If we've used bulk resizephotos.com, we've ensured all of our images are WebP for starters. Okay, make sure you do that. Yes, there are two and four for and against arguments about using WebP, but it works for me and I've tested it on Safari and loads and loads of different browsers and I'm happy with that, okay? Then make sure about your placement and what you're using. I haven't got a slideshow going on at the top. because slideshows can cause um, fatigue and slowness on your website. I've ensured that where I've used images, when you go to the mobile view, I've got an exact copy of that image, but I've slightly messed around with the cropping or the layout of it. Okay, because you, you do know that when you do a, an, an elemental website, when you create this as a desktop, okay, when you go to mobile view, you have the option to change the image. You don't have to create a totally new section and then hide one on the desktop and hide one on the mobile. No, you can change the image, right? Go in and look. You'll notice the image is grayed out and you can change it. A lot of people don't know this. The other things you might want to take into account are your plugins. So three plugins I definitely recommend. The first one is Asset Cleanup. The great thing about this plugin, it's free and once you've installed it, all I do with it is go in, go to my home page and any other pages I want to optimize and I will go look at them and go, right, are there any plugins that I do not want to be present on this page, whether I have a widget or not? And we use Paid Membership Pro on this website. However, there's no need for the Paid Membership Pro to be visible on the web page. So when I go to edit the page, 
okay, and I scroll all the way down, okay, eventually I'm going to get to the bit where I can now deactivate certain plugins. Of course, you don't want to be deactivating Elemental and Elemental Pro, otherwise you're going to have a world of pain, but if I keep going down, Paid Membership Pro. There is no need for any of these widgets or anything to be functioning on the page. Yes, I have buttons that will take you to a Paid Membership Pro page, but on the page, there's no need for them to be on there. So I just go unload on the page. Dead, dead easy. Then we got the WP Fastest Cache. This is a plugin I've gone on about many, many times. It's free. I don't use the premium version. And here are my settings. So have a look. This is this is what I do. I tick, 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 galore. Okay, this is what I do. And it works for me. The other plugin you want to take a lot of interest in is Auto Optimize. Okay. And again, I have gone about this so many times. Here are the settings for JavaScript, what I tick, okay, what I have present here. There will be an option down here called JS jQuery jQuery dot min. It says M-I-N. You can't miss it. I delete that one out. Because if I leave that one in, I always find that that then can pull down your page speed insight score. So I take it out. Then I have the CSS options down here. Okay, again, look at the settings. Now, another thing I will take out is down here, you will have WP content forward slash uploads. Again, take that out because I want that to be optimized. If you, if you don't, if you leave it in there, it will not optimize that folder. And because that's going to contain, you know, your themes, your templates, your images and things like that, you don't want to hit yourself later without doing that. So I would say definitely go for it. Um, HTML options, tick that. Um, and then you just make sure the rest of these items here are ticked. The two other things you got to make sure you do on auto optimize is your images. So I have said lazy load, okay, lazy load images is good, but after the first image. Because I want my very first image, okay, which was uh, the blue electric um, uh, uh, homepage layout that you saw while there was an image there. I want it to lazy load after that. I might change that to two, three, four, five. Because there are some images that if you lazy load from the off, the very first image will lazy load. Therefore, you've added in a delay into your website. So don't delay one or two images that you want to load really quick off the cuff. OK, and then the other thing, and this one I will always do, remove Google fonts. When you do that, your score could go from 60 percent to 80 percent, 80 percent to 100 percent. I'm not guaranteeing anything here, but it can jump by nearly 20 percent. Trust me. However, when you remove Google fonts, nearly all of your fonts in your website will revert to either Roboto or something else. And what you need to do to get around that, even though I said there's three plugins, we're actually talking about four. The fourth plugin you really got to take an interest in is OMGF. There are other ways you can do this. I am not uh, telling you what to do. You choose what works for you. But OMGF, and what you do is when you've created your homepage and you have formulated in your head your font family that you're going to use, okay, what you do is you install this and you run this here where it says save and optimize. And it will then tell you what fonts are on your page. And I will then tick unload or load or preload fonts that I want to basically preload. Because when you remove Google fonts, even though you can still see them in Elementor and you can still see them in editor, when you go live, you'll be going right back to Roboto or something else. So I'm now telling it on my homepage, I use Lato and I use the 300, the 400 and the 900 weighting. And I didn't use Roboto, even though it brings it up. There is no Roboto on there. So I've said unload all of Roboto. So you can see, look, all of them unloaded. And for Lato, only preload normal 300, normal 400, and normal 900. And by doing that, it now means that I've unloaded lots of gunk. And it's only going to load through what's on the page. And look, this is entirely up to you whether you want to kind of um, basically, you know, whether you want to do this or not. But if you're careful with your website and you're careful with how you create it, you can create nice looking websites, okay, with a bit of animation, with a bit of stuff going on, okay, it doesn't have to be like just boring, you know, whatever. You can do stuff to make it work and still hit a high score on your mobile and your desktop. And I've not used any premium plugins here. I'm not paying anything. 
I'm not using anything that kind of cheats the system or preloads something or whatever, you know, like a, a preloader page or, you know, there are some plugins, you know, that kind of cheat the system a little bit. Nothing like that going on here and it works for me. So anyone that says Elementor, you know, bloating my website is way too slow. When I go and look at their website, I'm sorry to say this, but if you had from the start installed certain plugins and from the off monitored your scores as you did each section, you would not have an issue. Because this website here has a blank page, 100% on the mobile. I do the header and footer, I'm still hitting 100%. I do this section, I drop down to 95%. I then tinker with the image, the sizing and whatever, I get back to 100%. And over time, I start to flick up between 100 to 97%, up and down. But as long as I'm over 90, I am happy. And I would say, work methodically, stage by stage, step by step, and you can do it too. Okay, look, I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'm Imran Web Squadron. Please subscribe. You know, we love helping you out, and I'll see you soon.